What's up, B-Love's Life family? What's up, my B-Love? I got a sound. Smag a mm -hmm. B-Love, 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 three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Listen, I'm back with another video. We're gonna do it keto style as usual. For some reason, I've been craving these Philly cheese steaks. Now you know when you're on keto, you can't eat bread. So, and I'm, I'm a sucker for the breads and the pastas and all that stuff. That's just how I am, y'all. But I'm gonna try to throw together some Philly cheese steaks keto style. I've been looking up some recipes. So we gonna make this keto bread from scratch. That's right. Some some Philly cheese hoagies from scratch. Never done it before, ever in my life. Don't know how it's gonna turn out. We gonna see, we gonna do it together. And I got all the ingredients over here to the right. I'm gonna let you see what's, what, what we got cooking over here. I got my Instapot back there. Now, I have kind of went back and forth as to how I was gonna cook this meat for the Phillies. Because at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna saute it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in some beef broth and we'll gonna let it simmer and whatnot. But then I thought to myself, okay, if I saute it, then I got to put something in there to saute it, and I'm, it's adding calories. So I was like, let's just do it like this. I got the Instapot over there. I'm going to throw the beef, the shaved steak, in the Instapot. We going to season that up, throw that beef broth in there, and we're going to let that simmer for a while. And that's what we're going to do because I got to keep these calories low, y'all. Now, we're going to turn out around, I'll, I'll, we're going to be a little bit north of 500 calories, I know for one hoagie but I got some plans on taking that number down a little bit so stay tuned over here look who we got look who we got look who we got right here boom there it is so you see I got two Kroger brand beef shaved steak packages I got two onions uh, I call those medium sized onions I got some bell some uh, portobello baby bella mushrooms there right behind there with the uh that says baker's joseph's is some blanched almond flour i got some beef broth some egg whites in the the, the cart y'all i was not about to go through cracking all them eggs um for this recipe even though it's only four and then apple cider vinegar some flaxseed meal back there and then that little white jug thing ah, let me show you is some psyllium hus boo Booyah, y'all see that? There you go. Let me let me focus that in for you. Some psyllium husk, you'll need that. And then we got some baking powders. Some baking powder in the building as well. So I'm ready to get it in and get it going. And I'm excited to see how it comes out. So with that, let's get cooking. Darius, can you turn the music off? All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see in this bowl, I have four ounces of almond flour. I got, I'm gonna make, it, make sure I get this right, y'all, so I wrote it down. I got a uh, half a cup of golden flax meal and a quarter cup of psyllium husk powder, um, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and we ready to mix. And I told y'all, I don't bake. My thing is grilling. So we are gonna see how this all comes out. Um, I'm optimistic cause I really need some bread in my life. And if this turns out right, I'm gonna be making this all the time. Cause you know, it gets old having your stuff without bread. And all your sandwiches, no bread, all your, you know, your burgers and all that other stuff. Your, like when I grill and I got Polishes or I got, uh, bratwurst and all that stuff on the grill can't have no bun with it man that's that's killing me so i told y'all i've been craving if y'all hear all that noise in the background that's they digging up my backyard y'all for the whole the pool and the and the um basketball court and all that other stuff so that's the noise you hear it's a bobcat all right so we got this mix i'm gonna set that off to the side now I got to mix up four egg whites and some, yeah, four egg whites and some um, lukewarm water with a couple teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. 
So I'm gonna make sure I got that right. All right, so yeah, it's right. Four ounces or actually three quarter cup of egg whites. I didn't use the, the, the eggs and do all of the, I didn't wanna do all that, y'all. So I got three quarter cups, which is equivalent to four egg whites. Um, and I got some lukewarm water, one cup, and I'm gonna get two teaspoons of this organic apple cider vinegar. Uh, by the way, Trader Joe's was awesome. I went over there and um, I don't bake. I said that already, I don't bake. So I had to get some help finding all this other stuff. And the lady that was there, she was like, oh yeah, you need this, this, and this. Basically took me to the aisles and got everything that I needed. So uh, kudos to them. And did y'all know Trader Joe's? Like if, if you don't like something or something's not right with you, whatever you buy, that you could take it back? I never, I never knew a rest, uh, 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 food that you could take back or a food store that allow you to take stuff back, grocery store rather. But it is what it is. All right, here go the eggs. We ready? Next step is to add this together and knead it. Da, 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 da. It actually smells really good. I'm shocked. I don't know what is in there that smells good, but it smells good. All right, I'm back. I have let this sit for probably about 15 minutes. So I did let it sit, like I said, for five minutes. And then when I was looking at it, it didn't really look like it had the same consistency as theirs. So I figured, you know what? Maybe I'll just let it sit a little longer and see if it actually turns out right because, whoo, I was shaking in my boots, y'all. Uh, but it actually turned out pretty good. So you'll see when I roll it out. It Before it wasn't as doughy as it is now. And now it is pretty doughy, if you can see that. So you see the dough. And so basically we're supposed to, you know, kind of, Smooth it out, make it into a rectangle. Uh, large enough for you to cut four pieces out of it. Y'all don't 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 make fun of me on how I'm doing this, cause I told y'all this is not my cup of tea. Not at all. I don't bake. I grill. That's what it is. All right, so this looks roughly about like they had there. So I'm gonna push it out a little bit more on this side. See if I can't get it even. We're gonna see how this turns out. Thank you. 
Alright, now I'm sure y'all bakers could probably do it better than that. But this is what it looks like. I'm about to throw it in the, the oven as soon as it's ready. And it says 20, 25 minutes, I believe, in the oven at 350. So I'm going to do that. Before I do that, they said to go ahead and slice these like horizontal. You know, to make that, you know, that bread top look. I'm really anxious to see how this comes out because I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I don't know. I don't I don't know. But if it's good, we're gonna eat it. If it's not good, guess what? We're gonna eat it. Cause that's just how I grew up, y'all. You eat what's set before you. So I'm gonna throw these in and um I'll let y'all know how they come out and then we're about ready to plate. I still got to saute up the vegetables and all that other stuff. Darius went to go, to go get me some uh, bell peppers because I forgot, y'all. Actually, I bought them, but then they got used, so I had to go get some more, and I forgot to go get some more. So I got those. I got mozzarella cheese he's going to go grab for me. I thought I got that. You know how it is when you go to the store. You don't make a list. You got this recipe, and the recipe don't say cheese because the recipe is for the hoagies. They don't know you're making Philly cheesesteak out of these hoagies. Now, so he gonna run and go get that. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how this all turned out. I'm gonna put it all together, y'all. And then in the next video, y'all gonna see me eating it. We gonna taste it, we gonna try it. I'm also gonna tell y'all about something else that I'm, that I'm using too, so. I'm ready to go, I'm starving, ready to get it in. Let's go put these in the oven. All right guys, I'm back, I got the I got that steak over here, if y'all can see that. That's all in the pot right there. If I can get this camera to work for me. Boom. I'm about to season this up. I'm gonna throw some beef broth in there. We, in, we, we inside the Instapot, as you can see. I'm gonna throw some beef broth up in there. And I'm gonna throw just a tad bit of um, Worcestershire sauce in there. Now, I can't do a lot of that. It's got one carb, I think it is. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm do that a little moderately, but we're about to make it go down, y'all. I'm sauteing these vegetables together here. I got some mushrooms and some onions and some bell peppers. We're gonna use these in these Philly cheese steaks and it's gonna be good. Don't that look so beautiful and colorful? Mm. Oh, man down. Well, we're, gonna, we're gonna saute this up. So I, what's in a too high. I got bell peppers, I got onions, I got mushrooms. Um, ready to go. As soon as these so to start to reduce down and caramelize, I'm going to put some cheese with it. Y'all see how we do that. And then we're going to put it on with some meat that's in our slow cooker right here in the Instapot. Been slow cooking for about, mm, it's been a couple of hours now. At first I, you know, pressure cooked them, then I slow cooked them because I wanted them to kind of just marinate a little bit more. They were done, but I wanted them to get a little bit more tender, the meat inside. 
So, and then I also added some accent salt and a little bit more of the Chicago uh, steak and chop that I had used earlier. So, y'all gonna see how it is. It smells good and I'm so ready to eat. I'm starving, so we're gonna see how it goes. This is starting to come together here. All right, guys, as you can see, my vegetables are nice and caramel and brown. And they are ready to go. I'm gonna give them a little bit of flip and then we're gonna plate. And then we'll be ready to go. Turn those off. We're gonna start plating. All right, we're back. I'm about to just let y'all know how this came out. We plated it up. Here we go. It actually looks really good. It does. It looks really nice. And it smells really good. Look at that, y'all. So that's it. All oh, that. Ooh, that should that's be a dope man. No, this ain't mine. This is hers. Ooh. This one over here is mine. It's, it's a little one. smaller. Because <laughs> I had to, you know, I had to put exact amounts of stuff on there. What's up, my villa? I got a sound. Share and subscribe.